Hello my friends. So it has been a while since I have posted any video on YouTube regarding any open source software like DSpace or Koha. Uh, and recently I encountered a problem on one of my friend's server. They had a digital disaster. Their server crashed and uh, at the same time they lost a copy of the SQL data. But luckily and wisely they had a copy of the zip archive of each collection which they exported right before the crash happened. So with only one option left, we installed DSpace on the new server and managed to import all those collections and communities onto this newly installed DSpace server. And this entire exercise was recorded so that this tutorial video can be produced. This tutorial comprises of three sections. First is the simulation of uh, the export procedure. Second section is worth paying attention to, which is the problem solving section. And third and last section is performing import on actual live server. And that's enough to get. So on my report, I have some community selection that I have on this. Because I want to export this data in the same archive. I first need to log in with my super user account which is right here. Yeah, this one. So I'm logging in and I'm going to go to the computer and I'm going to go to the computer. Now after logging in, you might not set my right hand side one. But we notice that there is an error. Now this error says import failed. Now this failed due to a mistake in the name of the file which we are uh, uploading. We can see that this uh, file which is causing the error, it is in the collection 21 and item number 1. To investigate it further, if we go to that folder and we will see uh, the name of the file, it uh, contains a strange character in the end. Now this same change needs to be reflected at one another place which is the contents file because it holds the information about the media file as well. With making corrections here we ensure that the content file has the correct information about the media file. Now in the similar manner we need to check and ensure that all the items in this collection have correct file name without it fetching correctly. Because this was the major cause of all import failure. At this point I must also warn you that this is not the crude way of maintaining backups and migrating from one server to the another. But in our case, because our main backup 
We lost it somehow. We crashed the server and lost a copy of the PostgreSQL backup file. So this was the only way out for us. All right. So all the corrections have been made. Now we are all set to compress this collection into a zip file. And then we go to administration section, batch import, and then browse. And then we'll select this newly corrected zip archive and click on upload. And then we wait with our fingers crossed while the system do its thing. Perfect. Green light of success. Now we can browse through the particular community and to that particular collection to see that all the files which we imported, all of them have been placed to its right place into that particular collection. And uh, if we click and open this title, we'll see that all the metadata and items, all of that is present. So that's it. This is how you can batch import entire communities and collections from one DSpace server to another DSpace server. However, I must uh, warn you once again that this is not the right way of taking backup of your DSpace system and migrating from one system or the other. This is the simple one because it doesn't involve any commands and it's based on graphical UI. But having a SQL database backup is a must. So with this we conclude this video and I hope it has been helpful for you. If there's any query or something which I can help you with, just post a comment below or write me an email. I have my email address written in the description section of this video. And thank you for watching.